so hi everyone welcome back to data science in your pocket so recently andrej karpathi the og ai scientist has coined a new term context engineering so you all remember what happened when he last termed vibe coding it just became the internet sensation and looking at context engineering also i think it will go on the same path so in this short video i would be showing you a demonstration how context engineering can be used with chat gpt and how you should use it so let's get started we would be quoting three to four examples and how common prompting looks like and what will change when we are going for context engineering so let's get started so first of all let's take an example from cooking so let me show you uh, what will happen when we are going for a common prompt and then we will go with context engineering for same cooking prompts help me with the recipe using carrots brinjal and sweet so here you can see that it is now suggesting me something sweet and spicy carrot brinjal curry with jaggery it is giving all the ingredients instruction saute spiced up add sweet and tang etc looks good looks decent now let's go with context engineering so if you know in chat gpt you have an option for customizing chat gpt and we would be using the same for our context engineering so here you can see that there is a section anything else chat gpt should know about you and here we would be writing our context what we want chat gpt to know i am a five star hotel chef i prepare exquisite dishes all my recipes should be prepared within 20 minutes i give a special focus towards garnishing and keeping it healthy alongside the calorie balance i usually consider protein content to be very high my customers are usually from us and uk so this is the context i am giving it i will be coming back to it uh, how this is helping us out let me add some certain more information the usual footfall in my restaurant is about 100 people so this is the context i have given to chat gpt now and saved now we will start off with a new chat and we will use the same prompt and let's see how it changes now so let's paste it here and let's get started and here you can see that here's a quick 20 minutes gourmet style carrot and brindle sweet curry recipe perfect for your high protein balance health conscious clients and here you can see that it is now optimized it has now enhanced the previous dish that it mentioned it's it still remains the same dish carrot brinjal sweet curry with jaggery glaze and spiced coconut milk coming into the picture optional protein boost it is giving quick steps it is mentioning serving ideas also and whatnot so now if here you if you see compare the two outputs one is a very basic one while the other one is more personalized for you it is more considering all the context that you have given it and that is what context engineering does you're providing it the entire picture in what direction to look at now in the first beginning when you are asking it a generic question it has the whole world to look at right you have never mentioned which region you belong to what was the entire goal of preparing this recipe but once you are doing context engineering, this is a very basic example, right? You saw that we are providing it with the entire context. Okay, look for these are the people who would be from US and UK. So it shouldn't be very spicy, right? Uh, apart from that, people are health conscious. I'm running a restaurant. So these are the context that I gave it to. You, and eventually the output became more enhanced, a lot better. This is what context engineering does. You are providing the LLM with multiple things. One is you are asking it to look into a particular direction because right now, once you give it a basic prompt, the entire world's 
open it for now it needs to look everywhere but once you provide the context the options becomes limited and the outputs are better more refined now let's try it out for another use case just do remember to remove this one else all the answers would be coming in this format only so now we'll try out blogging okay so let me write a blog help me write a blog on transformers and attention in short so our first one was around cooking our second example is around writing blogs and i will show you how it will also change as we move ahead with context engineering in this case also now it is giving us a basic answer okay Q qkv is coming transformer architecture encoder decoder white matters it's a very generic answer if you observe it hasn't gone into the details and all now i will start off with a new chat before that let's customize let's provide with the context now i am a technical blogger writing blogs for like five years my audience is usually advanced data scientists and ai engineers who loves to go into technical nitty gritties my expertise is explaining jargons into simple terms my blog length is not that long but it's a compact with information so this is the context that i'm giving it that i'm a technical blogger writing blogs for like five years so i'm experienced I'm not a noob. My audience is highly technical, and I want the answer in that direction only. Right? This this particular context can be very long. You can add more information, but now I'm just showing you how the output will change. We will save this. We'll start a new chat. I'll paste the same blog, same prompt again, and let's see how the answer comes out. On a minimalist deep dive. Now you can see that some equations have started coming in because I mentioned that I'm highly technical if you remember multi headed for diversity positional encoding has introduced now which was not in the previous answer if you remember because this is a second tier concept that one should know. Now if you read the definition of encoder and decoder in this particular example and here it's quite different it's quite generic it's quite basic but in this example it's highly technical. If you read your stacks of self attention for feed forward layers encode the input, which is why I love it. And here you can see that certain all the answers that has been given are in technical tone. This is how context engineering is now changing the writing practice also. Now, the best part is, for example, help me write a blog on explaining logistic regression. Even this answer would come in that same tone because once you have provided the context, you don't need to provide the context again and again in the prompt. Now the information, the particular context that I wish chat GPT to know remains with it. See, the answer is highly technical now. Why not just linear regression? And it's a very good answer as I can see questions are coming in. It is explaining maximum likelihood, which I don't think so will explain when you're asking in a basic prompt. So once you have provided the context for context engineering, you don't need to provide it again. Just go with the flow. You are writing the same thing. You are asked similar questions. You will get the output in your tone, in your context only. So that's the best part of context engineering. It has to be done just once. You don't need to add it every time in the prompt. I'm changing domains. That is, I'm changing the context else that's not required also. Now we will go with our last example and then we will close this off. So our last example is around coding. Let me see what we can do. Help me write a code for detecting palindromes. Yeah, it looks good. As you can see, it has given a function, test string, pretty good. A decent answer, I would say. Now we will again go with context engineering here. I am a software developer working for 10 years in a big MNC. My role is to ship 
scripts to production hence the script should be error free and all the errors should be handled carefully i usually code in java but at times uh, very rarely i code in python also i pay a huge attention towards the latency of the code doc strings are a must and pylint score should be greater than 8 for me to ship my code so this is a basic context i am giving it now and let's see how the output enhances after context engineering we will use the same prompt let's go to a new chat And here you can see that a well documented Python function that detects whether a given string is palindrome. Just see the doc string here and compare it with the previous answer. There was just nothing. Remove spaces and all. If you look into this particular function, it's, it's more robust. Here you can see that clean text is coming, it's importing, it is using name equals to main function for running it. It is also going with the outputs. So it has been enhanced now. I think the pilot score should also be good for this particular code snippet as I can see. So let me know if you want a version in Java also because I mentioned that I usually code in Java. Now if I would have removed Python completely, it would have given a code in Java only. Now let's try out something else. Help me write backend for a database extraction facility in java now i don't need to change my context every time as you are observing chat gpt would be able to pick up my context that has i have given it already now here as mentioned multiple things i've missed out so these things should also go in the context okay which database i work with right it is going with certain assumptions folder structure it is giving me and if you notice it is closely following whatever I've mentioned so far yeah so this is how context engineering works I would say you need to clearly define the context that's the important part here it's it's a mindset you need to uh, browse through the internet you need to browse through the work you do and figure out what should go in the context for the work that you are doing usually and once you are able to fix your context i think your life would become very easy the output that you would be getting are of great quality i would say and it is any day an enhancement over wipe coding even if you're wipe coding the more context the more compact information you can provide within the context the better the LLM performs. So even if you're a wipe coder, I would suggest highly that whatever field you're working with, try to create a context paragraph for yourself as Karpati has mentioned. And then you will see how your life changes. Thank you so much. I hope you like this.